Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is Jaya Ezra Ben Laban, aka Tommy Kurtar. First of all, I want to give praise, honor, and glory to the God of our forefathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahuwah, who is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He is our Lord, our Savior, our King, our God, our Redeemer. He's our all in all. And I, and I want to give, I want to say Shabbat Shalom to my brothers and sisters that embrace this as the Shabbat and to my others and brothers and sisters that do not, Shalom unto you. Anyway, I want to address this to all my brothers and sisters on both sides of the fence, those that label themselves um, to not only um, Messianic, um, Yah only. Um, I believe this is relevant for all of us. Um, I'm not going. I'm not planning on staying before you long. I really want. I think this could be very quick, but to the point. But um, I, I just want to share with you um, the scripture references that I will be using, and go ahead and give them to to you at this time, so you can um, jot them down um, in case you want to come back to this uh, video later. You can follow along more easy or share with others. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15 and 19, Proverbs chapter 18, 21 and 24, Proverbs 23 and verse 7. Um, the title I, uh, I'm going to give this video is The Power of Choice. It's up to us. The power of choice is up to us. So let us go ahead and get it in, family. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. Hallelujah. See, I have set before you this day life and good and death and evil. Let me just start right there because I want to inform y'all that I will be coming from the King James Version of the Bible um, for this video. So allow me to read again. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. See, I have set before you this day life and good and death and evil. Verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Hallelujah. Now let's go to, over to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 18, starting at verse 21. Hallelujah. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of Yehoah. The poor useth the treaties, but the rich answereth roughly. 24. A man that has friends must show himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. But the key verse I want you to focus on is verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Hallelujah. Now let's move over to Proverbs chapter 23. Verse 7. Hallelujah. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, and saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Hallelujah. Um, the reason I, I wanted to make this video is to, uh, to address the, um, the condition, the state of mind, the behavior, the mindset that Israel um exemplifies at any given moment because it is said of us by the creator that we are his witnesses we are his servant um, we are the light of the world the nations are supposed to glean from us on what righteousness is um, excuse me based on what the creator gave to us through our teacher 
Moses, excuse me. So we have to get on the ball. We have to step our game up. We have to be um, about doing that which is required of us, which is required of us as the people of Yah. Now, I jotted down a few things that I want y'all to um, think about when, when I share them with you. This is what I have. Some of us are repelling. Some of us are, some of us are magnets. Some of us are bright lights. Some of us are dimmed lights. Some of us are lights covered up. And it's sorry to say that some of us are, are just plain broken light bulbs. And I do not say that lightly. And uh, one thing I want to make perfectly clear, I, I am not a um, perfect man. I do not um, know it all. Um, I am known as a moray um, to some. Um, but I see myself as um, a student teacher or a teacher student. Um, I love to learn, apply, and share. That which I think is beneficial to our people, I love to share it. That which I think will provoke us to dig deeper so that we know um, more clear, clearly what is required of us as a people. That's, that's what I want to know do and share so I do not um, confess to know um, everything I'm in this um, I, I'm in this walk like everybody else I, I seek to know truth and more truth I seek to um, know what is equitable for us to do today while um, we are not in the land and what is also required of us when we do return to the land that is that is my desire but the thing I wanted to speak about is our road, what we have been doing and how we carry ourselves. And some of the things I, I will be um, talking about, it, it does it apply to everyone because everyone is not doing some of the things that we have noticed within the community. Some of us um, completely stay clear of such behavior activities and they do not desire to reflect anything that will bring um, a stain or embarrassment to most of all our God and to um, our community and to our families. It is very disheartening when we see Israelites um, acting in a way that is unbecoming, um, cussing, swearing, I mean, just all sorts of um, grotesque behavior. And I know we have all seen the videos of our brothers and sisters on the street. It, it is good to be out there on the streets doing the work to try to provoke your people to repent and turn to God. But when your mode of the service or, or how you go about bringing them back is so distasteful. It, it is so appalling. It, it leaves a bad taste in their mouth that they do not want to come to your God. And when I say that, they see your God based off how you act, how you speak, how you interact with them. So now based off of how we do things, now, I want to say we, even though I do not do that. I'm not on the street corner calling our sisters bees and hoes and cussing out everybody that don't look like me, that don't um, believe like me. I, 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 don't, I do not speak to people in, in, in such a manner simply because they do not look like me. They do not believe like me or they may be doing something that I do not agree with that I think um, is not reflecting the righteousness of Yah. But I feel that is their requirement based off who they are. They just do not know who they are as of yet. Now, I do believe in um, crying out, calling out to our people. 
and let them know what their sins are. But to do that, I do not have to belittle them to let them know if they are doing something wrong. I do not have to come at them in such a way that I may forever keep them away from coming to the truth. And I have seen some people bruised so bad that they don't want anything to do with this way of life. And it is their inheritance. But they don't want anything to do with it because how some of us act towards them. How they see us act towards others. And as I said before, this is not um, pointing any fingers saying this is what everybody's doing because we all know everybody is not doing this but we do know we have a lot of brothers and sisters that um they have a zeal for god but i don't believe it's according to knowledge wisdom or understanding we have to walk in a way that is reflective of this righteousness that we say we are striving to live we have to behave in a way that is reflective of the creator that we say that we identify with as a people if you are saying that the god of israel is your god it is a certain way that we as israel are supposed to act how we are supposed to um most of all um relate to yah and relate to our our family and relate to others just because I disagree with you, I do not have to cuss you out. I do not have to belittle you. I do, I do not have to try to bring um, shame upon you or your family. We just simply disagree. I do not have to call you out of your name to prove my point or to try to let you know you are wrong because I do not see the scriptures the way you do or, or how we view um, the world. I do not have to do that. The thing we do is we choose to take them routes. We choose to say that. We choose to act the way we do. That's why I wanted to share these um, verses here to let you know that even though the creator was, saying, was speaking of that, he said he put a choice before him. He said life, life and death, the blessing and the curse. He's re, he's relating to these principles in the within the framework of keeping Torah. He put a choice before us to do or not to do, to be blessed or not to be blessed, to be within, to be within the, um, the pr protective umbrella of the blessings or to be outside of the umbrella and get rained on, on through the um, curse. He put a choice before us. So it's up to us because it's all on us. We have the the capacity to choose to do righteousness it falls on us the ball is in our court I could talk to you in a civilized manner I could be respectable to you and still tell you I believe that you are wrong and I disagree with you and do not have to use a cuss word a swear word don't have to belittle you don't have to call you out of your name don't have to call you a nigger don't have to call you a bee a hoe or any other such on words I can just simply tell you I disagree with you and that's it and do it in a respectable manner where when we walk away you might still be a little hurt with me but you can say that brother was respectable because I have come out of many conversations with my brothers and sisters on from both sides those that are y'all only like me or to not only like me when we disagree, I had some of them cuss me out, call me all sorts of names simply because they disagree with me. Then I had um, the others on the other side of the fence that say they're messianic. Do same, call me all sorts of names simply because we do not see things the same way. We cannot do this any longer. And this is just my opinion. You could agree with me or disagree with me. You have the right to. I'm just saying respectfully, tactfully disagree with me. You don't have to curse me, my family. Just say, brother, I disagree with you. Your opinion is not my opinion. I, I, I can respect that. But 
enough is enough of this hatred that we have for one another and we show it we upload it we, we love to share we love to share it's seen our brothers and our sisters at their worst when we're at our worst all we do is see the phones come out people want to record they don't want to try to stop it from instigating from getting worse we don't ever try to keep the peace we just want to show each other at our worst and we have to rise up we have to become better than this we, we're better than that we always want to say you know we're we're royal we're priestly and then we we speak and we act in a way that is not reflective to that which we say we represent we have to do better and I'm even speaking unto myself we can all do better we must understand I can choose to be um, respectful I could choose to be cheerful I, I could I, it's up to me to be happy I could choose to be happy I could choose to be delightful I could choose to delight in this day the Creator said to delight in the Sabbath he didn't say we need anything delightful to happen to the delight in it we are to choose to delight in this day and that's up to us that is our choice I don't need anything good to happen to be happy I could choose to be happy I could choose to walk up right before the Creator it is up to us as a people to submit ourselves to the instructions of our God we can choose to do that which is right the balls on our court it's up to us once we dig into this Torah once we turn the pages of this Torah once we unroll the scroll of this Torah and see what is required of us as a people it then falls upon us to do it you know a lot of us say well I want to be led into this led into that we don't have to be led into it he already laid out what is required to it um, what is required of us as his people to do once you discover what is required of you required of you required of me we have to choose to do it don't have to be led to do it we have to choose to do it and if it's something that you don't know about that you might not came across yet in the Torah then y'all can lead us in that direction somebody y'all can raise up somebody to point us in the direction of a way that we should go that is Torah based but we haven't came across it yet but when it's something that we know to do I don't have to be led to do it we don't have to be led to do it we have to choose to do it we have to choose to do that which is right and that which is right and that which is right is to live according to the laws statutes the commandments the precepts of our king that's it in a nutshell it is up to us the power of choice it is up to us we can no longer allow outside forces to hinder to alter to cut off to cause to um, never exist again who we are unto the creator no bad day should be so overwhelming that we choose to walk contrary to the way that we're supposed to walk before our great king we have to stop giving people and other situ and situations so much power over us we as the people of Yah must choose to submit to the will of Yah and we know it's not hard to do we make it hard to do because we we, we 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 kick against it 
because the um the Torah already tells us it's not a hard thing. We are well able to do it. We can do it. Yes, yeah, sometimes we may miss the mark. But normally when we miss the mark, 90 99% of the time is because we chose to. And sometimes we could uh, unknowingly do something. Then when it's brought to our attention, we will repent. And strive wholeheartedly never to transgress. Never to break that law again. But we must stop choosing to do that which is wrong. Choosing to act in a way which is not reflecting who we say we are. We, we have to stop speaking in a way that cancel out our witness of who we are and who we represent. I want to um, read this one verse before I close. Let's turn to the Torah. First five books of the Bible. Let's go to Genesis, the bare sheet, chapter 4. Um, let us look at verse 7. If thou dost well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not well, send life at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. So we see right here again, plain as day. God is letting us know it's up to us. The choice is ours. We can choose to do right, act right, speak right, and we will be acceptable to him. Now, all man might not respect you. At least we know the creator will respect us because we are doing things his way. We are being a light unto the nations. And it's hard to be a light to the nation when we are so fragmented, um, jacked up. Maybe just jacked up. Some of the things I have witnessed, some of the things I have witnessed in person, some of the things I have seen on social media, um, videos of how people who say they are in this way of life, People that say they are Israelites, people that say they represent the God of Israel, that they're a Torah observant, and their behavior, their actions are against Torah. It's not enough to say, I'm Israel. There's a, there should be a certain way, a certain disposition that we have, a certain mannerism that we have that make people say, Yeah, that brother right there, he's an Israelite. Because what they're actually saying to you. Uh, to you and I is that that brother is living a certain type of life and it's uh, and, and it's known by how he speak and how he acts even how he dress how she dress so my brothers and my sisters I'm encouraging you I'm exalting you like I say I'm speaking also to myself we all have work to do we all must step up and be the witnesses and servant of Yah to be royal and priestly before Yah in this nation. That's all I wanted to say. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom, love, and blessings. Until next time, family. Peace.